हेलो एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू डू फॉर बिगिनर्स टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू हैंडल द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग अकाउंटिंग एंट्रीज अलॉन्ग विद दैट दैट हाउ वी कैन हैंडल द लेबर कॉस्ट एंड ओवर हेड कॉस्ट विथ उडू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग विथ दैट जर्नल एंट्रीज इफ यू हैव वर्क विद दैट योर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यू हैव दैट कंप्लीटेड योर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग विथ कन्फ्यूगरेशन ऑफ वर्क सेंटर कॉस्ट एज वेल एज द एम्प्लॉय कॉस्ट then sometimes you realize that already i am paying my employees via salary and i am already paid the bills of the electricity did i account the same cost twice if this is the question in your mind then you are at the right place in this session we are going to discuss on those topics only but with the scratch this is the blank database so currently there is no any entries on my database general ledger balance it everything is zero okay what we are going to do let's check those steps first we are just going to purchase the materials here the average cost and the automated valuation is that purchasing will be that along with that my manufacturing will be that in that we have mentioned that my work center cost as well as the employer cost and we will find that our our uh, finished product cost but along with that we will create the bill for my uh, my employees for that salaries along with that we will do the create the bill for that electricity also then everything will be clear and at the end of the video you will understand did we accounting the same cost twice so this is one work around if you have any suggestion we can we can, i am i am eager to learn that suggestions also okay this is the new company here you can see that if you will go to the reporting that accounting general ledger that everything is like blank this is my balance it 000 is that okay first step let's walk into the my products my products are this cabinet this cabinet one is that that is the average cost and if you will check the bill of material that bill of material product is wood planks again that will the average cost and here the operation is the cutting and with the work center is the cutting let's check the configuration for that work center but that is very important if i will go to the work center this is my cutting we have mentioned that the cost per hour for this work center is 100 we are not putting any random number here we are we are considering some of the parameters that electricity cost or rent or like that currently i have mentioned with that parameter that that this regarding with that electricity cost or xyz so cost per hour is that 100 and here if i will go to the employees my employee is okay and this is the settings and this is the currently hourly cost is the 550 this is the thing all configuration is set along with that most important setting is that in the work center we have mentioned that that this expense account i have my, i have created one one account separately this is my work center cost along with that in the product category we have that account let me open the category we have that cost of production account also this is current asset account now all configuration is set let's go to step by step and purchase the products from the vendor okay please pay the attention on that all the entries are very important okay now here i am creating the purchase order my vendor is there our product is wood planks okay i have and we have purchased that five units okay now with the price of that 500 okay let's make it like that and i am removing every taxes for now confirming and i am receiving the products and validate now this is the purchase so let's check the general ledger if i will go to my reporting accounting in the accounting i will walk to that reporting with that general ledger okay here you can see that that stock valuation is debited with that 2500 and my stock in prim receipt account is created this is the step number 1 which is very easy okay now let's do the my manufacturing in that we have manufacturing now we have manufacturing order our product is the cabinet one let me select that just we want to just just manufacture the one we are doing the simplifications then you can do your complex scenario with the reference of this simple video okay now we want to manufacture one i am just going to confirm it we have confirmed here you can see that work orders are components are already available we are going to plan it and we are going to mention that real duration is 60 as we have shown to my employees that is the goal and we are just going to click on that produce or okay 
Now let's check the valuation along with that let's check the overview also. Here you can see that this cost is 500. This is my the components of the raw materials along with that for cutting one hour and its cost work center cost was 100. So it was my 100 and here we have mentioned that the cost of employee. He has worked for one hour and the thousand is that. So here cost is 1600. Among 1600, 500 is the cost of row components and 1100 is my cost of operations. Okay, this is the thing. Now let me create the more manufacturing order. Now, but before that, let's check the general ledger. So everything will be clear. If I will look into the general ledger. Okay, this is my general ledger. Now here you can see that stock valuation here already because we have used that $500 row component that is consumed in that manufacturing order. So, so you, here you can see that it's it's debited with 4100 and credited with 5500. Now here you can see that cost of production is 1600-1600 means both are knockoff. So there is no need to worry about it. But now here you can see that the work center cost that is my credited with 1100. This is work center cost is nothing but the one kind of the expense account that is credited with the 1100. Now here we have that question we have we have one, one confusion in our mind that this work center cost is included currently employee cost as well as my my electricity cost okay how we can differentiate that so just let me go to that my manufacturing in manufacturing we have that reporting production analysis is there we have go to the pivot view i am just measuring the two parameters my two parameters are that my employee cost and total operation cost and if we want to do with that manufacturing order product and in the product also here you can see that for this our total employee just currently it's a one manufacturing order we want to find that manufacturing order that is also possible that employee cost is the thousand my operation cost is the hundred and that is included with that one one double zero now here we can we can have that thought that this already expense account is credited with the one one double zero but we are already doing the salary to my employees and we are already paying the bill for my for 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 my electricity then how is it the double entry for that expense now let's here i am giving one work around okay so this practice will be at the end of month. At the end of month, we have one amount, one number that explains the our work center cost. Okay, and at the end of month, we are doing the payment for for our electricity bill and we are paying paying salary to our 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 employees. Then how we can handle this? So now second step, I am going to create the bill. So now this practice will be at the end of month. Your bill will be. Let's consider the torrent torrent power is my vendor okay now no vendor is there let's consider the another vendors okay now here my product is electricity bill electricity bill of course the account will be i'm mentioning that let me go to that and that electricity bill okay fine that's the thing is that now what will be the amount that one one double zero in that thousand is there let's consider the electricity bill will be the five thousand okay now we are just going to add that bill date and we are just going to confirm it so this is the bill for that electricity if we will check that that expense will be here you can see that that expense is debited okay now again i am going to create one bill that's my salary for that let's consider this is my gst i am adding that it's a salary okay now account will be of course the salary account here the salary expense will be there let's consider that again it's a, it's a six thousand dollar okay these are just putting the random numbers to clear the basics of our our uh, video okay i'm adding that bill date we are putting those number at the end of the month so let me make it the 30 i'm going to confirm it now let's check the general ledger and here you can see that that here work center cost is credited with 1100 electricity expense and both are debited with that particular number now what we have to do here we have to make one journal entry at the end of the month what will be that journal entry and what's the effect 
on our work center cost okay so now let me make it i'm just making the yeah let me go to that journal entry is that i'm going to create balancing our double entries okay till june for june month for june okay let me just just ignore this balancing okay what we are going to do here you can see that my this amount is gonna credit it so what we have to do my account is work center cost okay and that is deputed with 1100 and it will be here my salary expense here that if we will look into our salary so for that again what we have to do we have to find that numbers for my employee cost and operations cost for that i'm going to that manufacturing in the manufacturing reporting production analysis pivot view we are going to measure my employee cost operation cost just let me remove all this so here my employee cost is thousand okay so this is for my salary for that salary is my thousand so what i'm going to do this is my thousand okay now here let me add electricity okay and that will be 100 and let me post it now it's post now let's check the general ledger a big change will be there now here you can see that work center cost right now balance is zero no cop and here you can see that our salary expense previously was 6000 but here now you can see that the 5000 and along with that my electricity is 5100 is credited with that 4900 so here we have removed that double expense by by just making one one general entry this is one work around here i have considered the parameter of that electricity or expense only you if you want to add the rent we can this is one workaround. I am eager to know any suggestions from your side if you have. Thank you everyone. Thank you.